electric induction furnace is the most commonly used furnace for casting of ingots and billets which are further processed in rolling mills. An induction melting furnace mainly comprises coil cradle assembly and a base structure. The coil cradle assembly is basically an arrangement to hold the working coil along with the liquid metal. On the other hand, the base structure is designed to facilitate the tilting of the coil cradle when the liquid metal is poured. When the cradle is completely tilted, the top surface of the coil tilts up to 95 degrees, enabling 100% of the liquid metal to flow into the ladle or mold easily. The coil cradle assembly is held into place by two aluminium covers. Coil and the top bottom refractory elements are connected with each other through SS tie rods such that all these tie rods remain electrically insulated from each other. Some induction furnaces are more than 8 to 10 years old. Over time, the efficiency of an old coil reduces as its shape gets distorted due to exposure to immense heat. For old coil cradles, energy losses are high due to non-uniform temperature gradient throughout the refractory, non-efficient shunt coverage and low current carrying efficiency of the coil. First, the bottom refractory block is placed. These are made of refractory cement and high alumina which give them a longer life. Then, the coil is placed on the block. The next step is to bolt the top refractory blocks with the top ring. This placing allows easy dismantling without breaking the block. The top and the bottom rings are connected through a channel. The latest coil cradle assembly is equipped with specially designed curved magnetic shunts and covers around 80% of the coil. Cushioned insulating pads reduce noise and vibration. The magnetic shunts are clamped. The coil cradle assembly with the latest design prevents overheating and enhances refractory life. To better understand the benefits, let us consider a scrap-based induction furnace unit with a furnace capacity of 8 tons per heat. Take an example of an induction furnace whose average heat time is of 2 hours receiving 10 heats per day. Considering it has 300 operating days in a year, the replacement will save 15 kilowatt hour per ton. The replacement would save more than 2% of specific power consumption. With an investment of 25 lakh rupees for a new cradle, a saving of 25.20 lakh rupees is expected. Thus, the payback period would be 12 months.